G'day, I'm Mark Latham, and I've got to admit, already this video has gone to the dogs, because I've found two academics who are barking mad. I'm talking about these two. Paul McCreevy, a professor of animal behaviour at the University of Sydney, and Fiona proben Rapsi, professor of humanities at the University of Wollongong. They produced this incredible article extending all the radical gender theory that we've got in the human world to the world of the canine. Yes, the poor, harmless little dog has now got to be subjected to leftist gender theory. And you know what they're on about, of course, that the male dominates the female. We live in the world of patriarchy. All women are oppressed. Victimology is everywhere. Snowflake women can't handle anything in the world where men dominate. It's all crap. Of course, we know that women are getting on with the job. Non-leftist women are getting on with the job of finding employment and opportunities and building lives that are absolutely wonderful in our society based on equal opportunity. But the poor little dogs have got to cop it now. Have a look at some of the absolute rubbish that's been produced by these two so-called academics. They're arguing that the relationship between humans and the dogs can be influenced by gender stereotypes. Really? Whoever thinks of dogs in terms of gender? Most dogs these days are de-sex, male and female. Does it make any difference? Does it make any difference in those circumstances? And they're saying that we have experiences and express gender via animals. We do use some of these words, bitches, cows, pigs, birds, and men are said to be wolves, pigs and rats, but it's no reflection on the dogs themselves, surely. And some of this research is just so dated. Talking about a 2006 landmark analysis. Talking about a small study in the UK in 1999. This is not academic research. It's drawing into old material to try and extend the loopy world of radical gender theory, patriarchy, onto the poor little doggies. And they've got all these theories as to how gender makes a big difference in the relationship between a human and a dog. Who would ever think that way? I mean, we've had enough of this in the human world. Please don't do it to our canine friends. And the big conclusion they reach at the end of this article is that while we know how damaging stereotypes can be for humans, dog owners may not consider just how their conceptual baggage of gender stereotypes affects the animals they live with. Well, no, they wouldn't affect that because it's untrue. It's just completely untrue. Listen, you two, McCreevy and Proben Rapsy, leave all your radical bull dust theories in the human world. And if you've got involvement with animals, please leave them alone. We've suffered enough human. We've suffered enough from this madness. Why inflict it upon our lovely little doggies? It's just not fair. They argue at the end of it that you need a complementary human to get on with the dog who is open to reflecting critically on gender stereotypes. So you're out there walking your dog, you're out there playing, chase the stick, chase the ball. You've got to reflect on the gender stereotype of the dog. Ser seriously, seriously, we're paying for this as Australian taxpayers through these two universities, these two academics. Oh my God, how far can it go? It's the beginning of a new round of gender theory madness. The dogs have copped it. Who's next? The cats. Little fish in the fishbowl. Little pet turtles. They're all guinea pigs. are all about to cop. The same sort of infuriating, maddening leftist gender theory that we've been batting away in the human world. I just can't believe this stuff. It's gone to the dogs. It is barking mad. I'm Mark Latham and you have a good day. And if you like that video, please share it with all your friends on social media and sign up for all our Rebel Australia activities at marklathamsoutsiders.com.